said, okay, I got the, the poetry, go pop for the painting, right? So now I'll sell the paintings and they'll give me enough money, right, for the um, patents. I am going to have uh, $300 after the museum uses my piece. Because I've had the war for it. So the painting will pay for the, uh, the patent. But they doubled. I wonder if they doubled the, the poetry, right? Because I, I'm in the Library of Congress. I've got a book. I see these out there that are still out there. Amazon, Amazon Prime, type my name in. I think one, one or two of my CDs come up. I kid you not. I type my name in because I thought, you know, some crazy is going to come up. My CDs come up. My CDs. From 2011 and 2012. <laughs> but so now the, the poetry is paid, paid for the painting. Now the painting, right? I'll use that to pay for the patent. But every time I get money back, I put it in the wrong place. I put it in more art materials. That's not bad. But if there are more art materials or decorations in my house, that's not bad. But I can make decorations. I can make what I love to see on the walls. I did a, 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 my, my, my weekly on Tuesday. And we're, we're dealing with depression, serious depression and homicidal tendencies. Seriously, the things were happening and I was already depressed. So one plus seven equals uh, four. When that happens, when that happens. I said, oh, I got it. I have homes on the tips of homes on the thoughts. I said, oh, I got it. I know how this is happening. The food goes far. My medicine, I take a medicine that helps with anxiety. But if I take it to, for too long consistently and consecutively, it causes depression in my life. And it was, it was bad. Very bad. And when I talked to Jess that night, it got worse that night. It just started to upgrade. And then he wanted me. Don't act crazy. He wants you. He wants you to kill somebody. You cannot uh, fulfill your gifts uh, to, the, to help people of God if you are in prison. Watch Chicago, the musical. Those are little gorgeous. We figure it out immediately. Come on, because we don't figure it out, I gotta go to the hospital. I cannot be around people like that. It's not okay. And then here and have your nerves cooked every day all the time and you're already depressed because you brought uh, downstairs uh, to the first floor. You prepositioned what happened uh, upstairs uh, to be downstairs without getting rid of any of that, uh, right? Uh, even when they do things, uh, I should try to handle it a little bit better but because I have a default thing called bipolar. It's a cord that sits in the back of me uh, that I can get on and rip when I get ready, right? right uh, watch Chicago. Roxy was poor, and she really wanted to make it in business, in show business. And when I lied to her, she had put herself out there, and she was with him, when she should have been. And he lied to her, he said, I would say anything to get in, get in with you. So she killed him. Well, Cain couldn't get what he wanted from Abel. Because he, 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 put his, he put his security in Abel. I put, I put my security in Abel. I put my security in, in now unto him who is Abel. But he put security in Abel. And when he did that, he found out that, he, that Abel can't hold you up. Abel is doing what he's supposed to do for God. You can't do what Abel does and expect to get what Abel got. I feel like his offering before God, because the Bible describes Abel's offering first. Cain's offering before God was a mimic of what uh, Abel's, Abel had done. He was trying to get what Abel had got, which is God's uh, love and God's acceptance. He was trying to get what Abel got after doing what Cain did. Which is make an altar, right? You have two altars. The Bible describes Abel's altar, but Abel had a bigger altar in his heart. Cain did not have that altar. So you make an, Abel, you make an altar, right? Without the heart behind it, you will lose every time. Cain didn't get it. So what I did, what Abel did, and I still can't get the acceptance, he killed Abel. 
It is the only thing that he thought he could do to get back what he had lost, which was what Roxy did, which is what homicidal people do, right? They are trying to, right, get back. Even people that rape and kill, they're trying to get back what they lost. Why? Because rape is not about sex, it's about control. I told you last week, I said, I feel like you're raping me. I'm honest. I'm, I'm com- anybody knows me, I'm completely honest. I said, I feel like you're raping me. I said, because rape is not about sex. It's about control. I was like, you cannot control my life. I feel like you're raping me. Stop it. She, only, she did all this. She thought she could do. She killed that man. The Holy Spirit will, let, will want nothing more than to get you to kill somebody because when you do that, you put a, uh, 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 what, did, what did God put on Cain? He put a, um, um, a symbol on him, right? He put a, he put a, uh, the, the, some on him to keep other people from killing him. You put a name on yourself. You change your own identity. When you, hit, when you kill somebody else, Cain was no longer uh, uh, Adam and Eve's kid. When you think about Cain, what do you see? In your head. You see a murderer. You don't see Adam and Eve. When you think about Abel, you see a sheep. A, a lamb. You think about Cain. You think murder. Because of what he did, not because of uh, the great I am. Not because of what the, who I am. Right? When I act outside of that, I'm given a new name. So no matter whether I'm Bible or not, whether people are getting on my nerves or not, because I mean, every Monday she was in my apartment, every Monday, get out of my apartment. You were in my apartment all the time upstairs. So get out. You don't like me. You told my pastors you don't like me. And then here's the thing. Every time I say something to you, I'm a holier than thou or I am a uh, Pharisee. Get out. You don't have to be Pharisee. Get out. <laughs> That's how I felt. I don't necessarily feel that way now. I'm struggling. So I became, I, I, I became this depressed, right? But I had homicidal thoughts. And I wasn't have not thought of killing her. I had thoughts of enjoying, right, seeing her dead. Come on. That's how it starts. Cain didn't just kill that boy. He thought about what it would look like to see him dead. Then the thoughts progressed, right? Okay, I thought about what, what it would look like to see him dead, right? I'm jaded to that now, right? So I thought I have to think about now how I will feel if he was dead, right? And the enemy comes in and lies to you, right? Because the enemy is the same one that lies to your parents that said you will not um, uh, uh, become, you will not be punished by God if you eat from the tree. Same enemy that lied to your parents. Same enemy, same enemy that lied to my parents. Lied to me. Just because I'm, I'm, I'm bipolar, right, and I have some issues, right, but just because I deal with those things, right, if I kill you, they are going to lock me up. Why? That, those things might get you off. They'll get you in a different type of prison. Why? Because of the fact that you still cannot be around people. If you are in, so, in society and you cannot handle and hold your feelings back and hold on back what's going on inside of you, I said, we got to figure this out, Kurt, because I cannot be like this. It took me three minutes to know what it was. Because I guess it'll, it'll, it'll go away. And I take my medicine faithfully. When they tell me to take something, I take my medicine. I, I know what medicine I'm taking. I know what my medicine does. But I take my medicine faithfully. I don't just, I don't know if the doctor tell me to do something, I'm going to do whatever I want to do. Absolutely not. Because you get a, you, get, you do what you want to do, you get a, um, do whatever you want to do, a uh, uh, blessing from it. So I figured I was a goose for up and I, I stopped it. I got stopped for about three days, and I can start back on if I want. The homicide wouldn't help. Ask those women that were in Chicago. Did a beautiful song, beautiful number. Pop. Sis. Squish. Cicero. Uh uh-uh. uh. And they spit the song up. What I noticed about 
about it. Every time he was around, no people noticed this. Well, I noticed about what was happening. You know, those men, women were in prison, and when they danced, right, the beautiful thing is you see, oh, a red scarf. But you don't really pay attention to what's going on. The, the red scarf is a, a, scarf is a, a thing. The red light, because they have red lights when they come on and sing. Because the Roxy said, even though she was in prison, she turned it into a production. How can you turn your prison, Joseph, into a production? As they danced, right, he had it coming. He had it coming. He had it coming all along. If you would have been there, if you would have seen it, how could you tell me that I was wrong? I'm bipolar. I do with some things. But if I, if I allow what you say to cause me to change my name, I change my name, you don't change my name. You call me holier than now, fast you all you want. I don't, if we're, I respond to it. I'm sinner saved by grace. Don't talk to me like that. If I try to say, Jeremy, you're arrogant and you're being a Pharisee, I accept that from them. They're my, they're my shepherds. You are nothing of a shepherd. You're not even close. I don't follow you. Jesus said, follow me. Jesus said, follow KC. I don't follow her. The beauty is that as they dance, they have this long red scarf in their hands. Almost like you can imagine how a clown will pull and pull and pull and pull and pull and pull that scarf. Look like it's tied together or whatever. But these women had a long red, had long red scarf in their hands. It doesn't look like that cost anything to make this movie. Because the movie is done in black and white and red all over. Literally, it's red all over. It's red all over. Red everywhere. Because these women all allow themselves to lose their mind and lose their life in a man. I said, but she wouldn't be messing with me if she had a life purpose. If she had a purpose, she had no purpose. That's why she continues to do things to mess with me. We have a life purpose and you, and you value yourself. We you know what you're put on the earth to do. I never think about her in KC. I think about how soon can I get panties on the walls? <laughs> He's on the phone. He said, and he said, he said uh, 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 first of all, we got to do something about the walls. I said, huh? He said, we got to do something about the walls. The walls do not look like Jamie walls. I said, like, no, I can't put anything up yet. He said, when will you be able to put something up? We got to do something about those walls. And you saw my walls upstairs. You see my walls here. You would understand why. Every time people came in from the, the, the ambulance, you know, different things like that. People come from my church, right? Some people came from the ambulance to take me out. They were all stay there and look. They were standing, but they were, they were all, they all look around. Wow, that's beautiful. When the police came, they were like, wow, that's beautiful. Once I was really trying to work on my art, and she keeps doing things to me, he said, I'm to give a name. Because I can see what you're doing here. I can see it. I can, I can, I can see the evidence. So what does it say to get a name and a birthday so you get a piece of it? 